actually called an ABAB withdrawal. All baseline um, phases here on the graph are titled A, and then any treatment phases are, in title, are titled B. So you have A, B, A, B. Does that make sense? Okay. So this specific study, and I tried to pick some studies a little bit outside of my field um, to show that it can be used with other skills as well. Um, this specific article was looking at um, the rate of instruction for um, students with emotional disturbances. So within baseline, it was the normal rate of instruction. Within the second phase, it was a faster rate of instruction. Um, withdrawal, they went back to that typical rate. And then at the end, they reinstated the faster rate of instruction. Um, and basically what you can look at at the graph here is that in terms of the percentage of on-task intervals, so how often the students were on task, it started out lower with the faster rate of instruction, it went up. When you took that fast rate of instruction out, the um, percentage of on-task behavior went down. And then when you re-implemented it, the on-task behavior went back up, okay? So because you've um, shown this over and over and you have replication within the study, um, that supports the validity of the results. So looking at this graph, it's not the best graph because you don't see a huge jump in terms of the, in terms of the uh, effects of the treatment. However, since you can see an increase, an increase, an increase, that tells you, well, rate of instruction was probably effective in helping these specific students stay on task. 